you. Nice to meet you. So working on this, getting involved with the rehabilitation in the arts program, mm -hmm. how can you tell me a little bit about how this experience going from making the film to coming to South by Southwest, how has this changed you as a person? Wow, it's life changing because, I mean, we started off trying to make a film, didn't know where it was going to go, right? Then this happened. We, were coming, we went to TIFF, we went to Toronto International Film Festival, four standing ovations, come over here, we're at South by Southwest. This is my second year. Last year I was at South by Southwest for um, a podcast called Letters from Sing Sing about my life. And now coming back again and, and now on the film, being able to talk about our lives and how we were living in Sana and, and, and the power of being able to turn that negative situation into something so positive, it's absolutely phenomenal. What's the message that you're hoping audiences will take away after watching the movie? Well, I think it's important that this film depicts the real life of people that are incarcerated as opposed to the films that we normally watch where it's all violence and everything else. It gives this perception about people being incarcerated and, and thinking that they're all angry and vicious. But the reality is when you get to see our film, you see the other side. You see people that have hearts, bleeding hearts for humanity. You, you see this process of people coming together. You see this love, this connecting that doesn't, like society never makes that connection. And so this is how we're able to bring the world into our world, a smaller world that people really don't know about and to show the human spirit thrive despite circumstances. So coming out of this, um, can you share a little bit about what it was like to film the film? I know like going into Sing Sing, it could, it's, could be, I can only imagine it's, it's an experience. So can you, That's, yeah, can you tell me a little bit what it was like filming this or was there any particular scene that was difficult to film? The, the scenes were great. The scenes weren't hard. I, it was the conditions, right? I had recently got out of prison. I, I, was, I received executive clemency from the governor of New York and was released six months previous to the, to the actual movie. And so getting back into a prison setting and putting on those, that prison uniform, it was like, wow, never fathomed doing anything like this. Never in a million years did I think that I was going to have to put these greens back on and walk in a prison and, and, and feel the way that I felt in a prison. Like, I already had an objective. I knew I was going to go into prisons to make change because that was part of what I was doing in terms of my job. But, like, to go in prison, act like a prisoner, to take on that mindset that you're incarcerated so that your character can really come out on the, on the screen, that was a traumatic experience. But having individuals like we had on set, the community that we were able to build both inside of prison and out, that's what was able to help us get to that healing point. And that was so important. Okay. Well, to end it on a positive though, um, can you share maybe a little bit about your experience? Or who was the unsung hero? Like who helped you? Who was in your corner? Who inspired you to in your career? Um, inspiration really came from the situation as opposed to a person. If I had to say the one person who pushed me all the way through my incarceration to where I am today, it has to be a mother. She's my hero. Amen. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Dean. Nice to meet you as well. Man, look, I'm very excited to meet you. Man, tall, man. You kind of, yeah, let me, let me get, look, like, look, let me, am I in frame? All right. Um, what, what, how did, how did working in this program affect you as a person? Well, I'm going to tell you, when I first came into RJ, because I'm one of the founding members, I was an introvert, you said, uh, dysfunctional introvert. Right? Didn't like people, didn't like communicating much. I was the type of guy just stood in the corner. And the more I participated in the RCA, it gave me the vocabulary, it always gave me the voice. It gave me the courage to start peeling back that on you. Those layers. I worked it on myself. Okay. Literally just as you work on a carrying mode. So I would say it's, well, it's, the Arx is a powerful vehicle for change. Yeah. And also, Change your perception about people. Mm -hmm. You know, putting on someone else's shoes and flipping it around. And you do that in your parts, it's like, wow. This opens up a whole new world. So I feel like this is one of those projects that's going to help humanize those who are formerly incar incarcerated. So to help humanize you for audiences, can you tell me something? What's something that you could geek about for hours? What's something like you're secretly passionate about? Well, 
the fact that one time I didn't really respect community, you know? And when we came together as a group, we became a community. It made me love community. It made me love to be a part of the community I used. You know, and you realize how much I was missing by not being it's so part of the community. It's an art of two. I know, like, I, I'm happy about that, you know, because I work with at-risk youth, you know, helping keeping them on the right path, things of that nature. To have, you know, and it's like a prom just to see that sparkle of light in one of these young kids' eyes again this world. It's about to change. Thank you. Thank you for that. I, I feel like something that uh, is a message that people are going to take away is, or at least notice is that mentorship can be a very, very big and powerful thing. Yes. And men in that situation can learn each other. Who is the unsung hero of your career? Who really helped you get where you are today? No one that you say RTA. Develop the skills that they need. See, yeah. Oh, right. right. You know, we have. Well, I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your performance.